Peter, my God, what the hell are you wearing? It's a solid gold tuxedo, Lois. I had to fight three rappers down at the nonsense store for this. Look, Peter, this is not who we are. I'm worried the money is changing this family and not the way you hoped. Well, I was hoping it would make you shut up, so you're right. You know, I spoke to Bonnie this morning, and she said you haven't talked to Joe or Quagmire in two weeks. Who cares? I don't need Quagmire. And I certainly don't need Joe. I got money, Joe. <laughs> That's a good one, money, Joe. I don't like what this money is doing to us. It's even affecting Brian and Stewie. <sighs> I think I'm going to take a nap. What, here? Yeah, I had a giant mobile put in the sky so I can sleep wherever I want. <sighs> this is nice. I hope that bear comes around soon. That's sort of my favorite. Oh, look, the bear! And it's not just them. Chris has also been developing some very expensive tastes. Model glue, sir. Well, what do we have today? Today, we have a recent vintage procured just this morning from Michael's Hobby Shop. Yes, that's very nice. Bring me my finest rag. Your fancy rag, sir. You are relieved for the evening. <laughs> You don't see poor people doing this! Lois, don't you understand? We don't got any of our old problems anymore. We don't have to worry about paying bills. We don't have to worry about saving dough. All we gotta do is enjoy ourselves. Interested? <gasps> oh, my God! Peter, it's beautiful! Is it a blood diamond? Ah, oh, the bloodiest. The two kids who found it were forced to murder each other. Oh, Peter, I love it! Hey, you want to watch a DVD of the murder while we do it? I already watched it eight times, so I know exactly which part I want to blam at. Chris, Meg, now that I'm a rich father, you will try to impress me, and I will remain distant. Go. Um, uh, say, Dad, did I tell you I got second place in the yacht race? Hmm. Sounds like somebody's dad is happier than me right now. Well, um, how about this, Dad? The school paper's doing a story about me. That's because I had it arranged. Uh, I was thinking about joining the army? No. Meg, as a girl, your life holds no merit. And Chris, try as you may, you will never be as good as your older brother who died. He was good at sports and talking. Now pardon me while I look at Scrimshaw through a magnifying glass. Ah, brave men all. Lost sons of New Bedford. That's good, Scrimshaw. Uh, I never thought I'd be having high tea at the Park Barrington every single day. Yes, it's nice to eat in a sea of white faces, isn't it? Waiter, have the chef prepare a bucket of your finest caviar and then give it a helicopter tour of the city. Very good, sir. Very good indeed. I hope it enjoys it as much as that main lobster I ordered. And over there is the Rhode Island State House, the second largest self-supporting marble dome in North America. Why the f am I doing this? I could have just said I did it. Sir, about your bill. Oh, don't worry, Carstairs. There's ample gratuity on there for you. <laughs> well, actually, sir, your card has been declined. Oh, really? Well, I'm sure a brief call to my accountant will resolve this to our mutual satisfaction. Hello, Schnozenstein. This is Peter Griffin. There seems to be some issue with our credit. I told Carstairs you'd set everything straight. What do you mean I'm broke? What about all that money I sent to the Game and Islands? They did what with it? No, I don't want it back! I'm gonna miss you, Carstairs. I shall miss you too, sir. With no one to look after, Carstairs fell into a deep depression from which he never emerged. He died two weeks later. Some say of a broken heart. What, sir? But that was Carstairs.